Greetings, lovers, incels, and simps. Welcome to the very special love episode. I'm Dr. Love, and I don't know how qualified I am to speak on this subject. But hey, fuck it, how hard can it be? Also, my school somehow gave me the power of letting me host a sex education week. Me running around with a megaphone and informing my peers that when a man and a woman hug very tightly, babies are born. So I sent out a request for your romance questions and many people took me up on that. So let's take a look at what the people need, need me to answer. These crazy kids cut right to the chase. Anonymous said, when's the appropriate time to ask to do anal? I do not know the answer to this question. I'm, I'm more of a pro at the courting stage, and you know, I don't know if I can give much advice in the nitty gritty of the actual, like, loin moshing, but I would say you probably can't go to that step unless you already, like, co-own a dog or something of that level of commitment. God damn it. Okay, here we go. This is more my bread and butter. What's the number one way to seduce? There are multiple ways to seduce, and you sort of, you have to know how far you're trying to get out of that specific love interest. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna assume you're looking for marriage. There are there are many ways to approach this. There's many languages of, of love, so they say. There's physical touch along with uh, gift giving. And so stroke her hair gently and give her some of the grapes from your lunch. When you're giving gifts, be thoughtful. Try to be try to do something extremely personal to her. For example, this one should work on just about any last, no matter how stubborn. Maybe something like this should do the trick. Uh, really shows that you're in it for the long run. A nice house on the farmland. Three kids, two dogs, one bunny. That's what that shows. So, or there's always the strategy of, you know, get the Lego set that you secretly always wanted and gift it to her and then just play with it while she's asleep. That's how you get the most out of the gift giving language. And, I, and then there's and then there's words of affirmation. So just just really pour your heart out if you're trying to seduce a woman. You know, if you're across from a candlelit dinner, you can hit her with one of these panty droppers. Look at you. Look at you. No, look at you. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. Or maybe with one of these Hey sexy motherfucker, back back that ass up. Come on, back that ass up. You know those are two ways to get the most out of words of affirmation. Alright, let's see if we can help the people. <laughs> Is licking your partner sexy? I would say it can be extremely sexy if done the right way. How to do this is you take their head in your hands, you look at them, you tell them how beautiful they are, then you hold their eyelids open with your thumbs. Careful with this, this is where people can get off track. You don't lick, you know, on the on the neck or the back. None, none, of, none of that. None of that. That's kid shit. Tip of the nose to the hairline is the only way to be truly erotic when it comes to licking. So yes, licking can definitely be sexy. So there's a couple more ways to impress a, impress a woman, make her fall madly in love with you, make her want to marry you. Uh, show her your nunchuck skills, and if you go to a dojo, make sure to show her your moves. The art of conversation is very important when you are seducing a lover, and you know, a good one is who do you think would win in a fight, me or a silverback gorilla? And then when she declares her champion, silverback gorilla, tell her all the reasons why she's wrong. And then she will know how strong you are, and how agile and good at fisticuffs you are. So that was a good one. Another good one is to go to Goodwill and pick out a pair of toddler shoes and then give her one and say, Hey, this is... Imagine our child wearing this. Ha <laughs> ha. So that's what this is from. Um, there are some other tips and tricks you can use. You can dress to impress. There's a couple different ways you can do that. Let's take a look. For maximum results, you might consider playing the provider. Requirements for this include having a 12 inch cock and being able to kill a quail with a crossbow. You know, I can skin a deer in 12 seconds. Just tell me how you want me to kill dinner. I can. with my, with my crossbow, with my shotgun, with my hands, with my big rock. 
But if you but if you burn me daughters, then your parents could raise them. If you wanna win over a simple-hearted, down-to-earth woman, then you might consider playing the trail mix guy. Hey, what's your favorite type of bean? Hey, what do you think about us going to Yellowstone for our honeymoon? I can bring my acoustic guitar. Requirements include having a killer granola recipe, as well as taking your kids Felix and Flaxseed to the public library twice a week. Hey, who finished the hummus? Am I upset? I just, my day is, my whole day is thrown off. Another foolproof way to win over a woman's heart is to play the I own a boat guy. Yeah, this is the pelt of a snow mix. Requirements you need to be ready for if you choose this fighter. So you must wear our captain's cap around 24-7 whether you own a boat or not. Do you know I actually killed this mix with a cigar in my mouth? The woman will constantly give you her full and undivided attention. If you don't actually own a boat and she keeps asking about it as she inevitably will, then just say it's in the shop and keep saying this until you're married. What can I say? I'm just a man of strategy and elegance. If none of these identities work, then you might consider being yourself. This is bound to fail, but there are always plenty of women in Nevada who would love your company. Let's take a look at the next one. <laughs> this is just a picture of me in a polar bear outfit. Yep, that's not focused. Okay, dope. Alright, we've got a couple more questions to answer. <laughs> this one says, what's your next move, you player? You know, I'm not really seeking anyone out right now. I would say right now my work is my lover. Just sort of working on that self-improvement, which is what every 30-year-old uh, single woman says. And if there's ladies watching this, this I'll give some tips on how to how to trick a guy into dating you. Um, one way is to out-eat him when you're eating a meal together and show him that you can eat just as much as the guys. And then he'll think you're super cool. Is being called adorable a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, this is a dicey situation. This is dicey. Depends on the gal you're dealing with. You know, sometimes, sometimes that's a girl's way of being like, "Wow, you're you're adorable. That's why I keep you as my as as my best buddy." Yeah, you're like a little teddy bear that you know I want to hug, but I don't want to. But I I don't want inside me. Well, if it's like a constant like. Oh, you're so adorable, and like she's flinging herself all over here. Then she probably is into you, but also sometimes girls just play games, which I don't understand. And I'm sorry that this, I can't just give a universal answer, because adorable, a lot of times though, I'll tell you this, a lot of times adorable can be like, she really thinks you're cute, but she doesn't find you sexy yet, so she's hopefully waiting that you might grow into, that the adorableness might grow into something more. I hope that gave some clarity. <laughs> this just said, do I make you horny, baby? Yeah. Jesus Christ, you guys are so explicit. What do, what do you do if a guy tries to kill you during sex? Well, I would say grab a firm hold of his peepee and twist. You know, it seems like the quickest way to to stunt an assassination of that type. Alright, we've got another question. This one says, How do I seduce my sugar daddy into giving me more money? Tell him he reminds you of Mark Ruffalo. That should help. This, uh, lost and lonely lover said... <laughs> God damn it, guys! He said, my question is, How you fit all that in them jeans? Even though I am the a world-renowned doctor of love. I still just put on put on my pants one leg at a time like the rest of you. Thank you so much for uh, seeking my consulting and I really I really hope you got something out of this. You know, I hope that you're going forward into the the war of love with some new confidence and some new tools in your toolbox. But yeah, stay sexy you animals.